Hellraiser, a film directed and written by Cliff Baker based on his novel The Hellbound Heart. Barker has delivered as a real horror story packed with intensity both emotionally as well as physically, accompanied by a scary soundtrack, though the outdated special effects from the 80s make you giggle a little. Hellraiser can be pretty revolting. Barker's feature directing debut graphically depicts a tale of a man and wife who move into an old house and discover a hideous creature, the man's half-brother, who is also the woman's former lover, hiding upstairs. It starts with Frank Cotton buying a puzzle box, set to open the door to a realm of otherworldly pleasure. After he solves the puzzle, chains emerge, tearing him apart. He loses his earthly body to a trio of SM demons, the Cenobites, and the room is restored back to normal. After his brother Larry and his wife move into the same house, he accidentally cuts his hand moving furniture. Frank is brought back into existence by a drop of blood on the floor. When Julia later finds Frank still in love with him, she agrees to help restore his body so they can run away together. Julia picks up men in bars and brings them back to the attic. Frank then drains their life, which regenerates his body. Kirsty, Larry's teenage daughter, finds out about what is going on, steals the puzzle box and solves it. She unknowingly summons the Cenobites and a monster called Engineer, who explains what they are. They are simply explorers from another dimension, seeking carnal experiences, and they can no longer differentiate between pain and pleasure. The Cenobites agree to spare Kirsty and recapture Frank instead. After Frank kills Julia, he chases Kirsty to the attic, where he's about to kill her, but the Cenobites appear after hearing him confess to killing her father. Now certain he's the one they're looking for, they ensnare him with chains with hooks and tear him to pieces again. Kirsty then is able to banish the Cenobites by reversing the motions needed to open the puzzle box.